So I want to invite you on a little bit of a journey with me because normally we have these kind of 15 to 20 minute kind of sessions where we dive into some kind of cool marketing concept, but this time the concept's too big to fit into one session. Probably gonna have like maybe three weeks of this. But I want to talk to you about solution first marketing. This is one of the big concepts that we uh, that we really put a lot of emphasis on in double stack. And the idea behind it is how do you get out of the price race to the bottom? Like, have you ever had a situation where you just constantly feel like the leads that you're getting are for these kind of small projects, low budget, kind of one-off deals? And or maybe they're maybe they're big projects with a small budget, right? It's like you get all these clients that just want you to work really hard, but they don't have the budget for it. So you just kind of feel stuck because if you feel like if you raise your price rates, well, then, you know, you're way too expensive than what people can afford. And they'll just go somewhere else. You won't get any leads at all. But if you stick with the low price, then you're just kind of working yourself to death. So you're kind of stuck. So I want to talk to you about how to jump out of that. Like, how do you break out of this whole price race to the bottom situation and maybe at least double, if not, you know, triple or maybe even 10 X your rates. And I'd literally mean 10 X, like, like in double stack, we shoot for five figure clients and we I'll give you one of these trophies. So when you land a five figure client, you get one of these trophies in the mail. And usually we're shooting for like $15,000 clients. So, um, and that usually includes like a, a website plus some kind of a marketing package combined all together. And you're making about 15 grand a year at least per client. And that means you only need a portfolio of like six or seven clients to jump up into like the six figures. So how do you do that? Because that's a lot more fun because now you can get great results for people. You're not stressed out about where to find leads all the time. You're getting this great lifestyle. Your clients are getting the results they're counting on you for. Everybody's winning when you can shift out of this low budget website stuff. So that's what I want to talk about today, but it's a really, really big topic. So today we're going to talk about solution last marketing and why that doesn't work. And then we'll get into what does work better and what solution first marketing is. Well, solution last marketing is the normal approach that web designers take to working with their clients most of the time. And it goes like this. Step one is you get a lead from somewhere, like probably a referral usually. Then you meet with the client and you try to figure out, well, okay, what does this person want? And then the last step is let's put a solution together that does the stuff that they just said that they wanted. So that means the solution is the last part. Okay, so if that's the, that's the pattern, why is that the pattern? Well, the reason that that's the pattern is because web design and software development used to be the same thing. And what that means is with software development, you really want to figure out that approach. And that approach really works pretty well. Where you, you meet with the client, they're kind of hiring you because of the services that you offer. Like they're like, oh, I've got this workflow problem or we've got some kind of a weird thing going on. We need a custom solution to fix it. And you're the guy for it. You've got the skills for it. Let me tell you what we need. And then you take your skills and do it. And that's the software development cycle. It works really well and it continues to work well to this day. But web development isn't software development anymore. Web development is now marketing. <laughs> and so the solutions and the way that you arrive at a marketing solution, it's very different from how you arrive at a software development solution. Because with marketing, and where we are with web design today, you don't really have to invent anything brand new. It's like, okay, well, what if you want an e-commerce thing? It's like, oh, well, that's, there's stuff there for that. What about client portals? You know, what about you know, social media stuff and funnels? And like all of, you don't really have to write any brand new software and invent any kind of new technology to be able to do all of that stuff. Now it's much more of a marketing problem, which is how do I use it, not how do I build it from scratch? So what that means is when you kind of go through the same software development cycle with your clients, with this solution last concept, you end up running into a bunch of problems. And I think you'll find out the results are basically, you have to lower your price to get clients. And that's why we're in the price race to the bottom. So here's how that works. So the reason solution last marketing fails for web design today, the first big reason is you just get lost in the noise, right? Because like you're marketing the services that you use to build these websites. And that means everyone else is too, right? It's like, what are you saying on your website that's different from any other web designer? Like, you know, you're probably saying we do websites, we do branding, we do logos, we do SEO, we do social media management, you know, all of those things. And everyone else says that too, right? So if I want those services, I have literally millions of places to go to try to find it, right? So I could go on Upwork, I could go on Fiverr, I could try to build my own site on Wix, I could go on Squarespace, I could go on to Facebook. And there's, there's literally millions of people that will hook me up with a website for well under a thousand bucks. So 
if you're one of those voices contributing to that noise, how are you supposed to set yourself apart? You know, like, how is your little marketing budget going to compete with all of that, right? So you just get lost in the noise. So that's one of the major problems, because then even if you do get a client, then you jump into, the, into some even more problems, which is you, you, the, the client's going to be feeling this very high risk, low confidence mindset, meaning that the risk is really high because they don't really know what they need. They just know what they want, right? They, they know I want more clients. I want more calls. I want higher paying clients. I want more consistency to my cash flow. It's like they have these business objectives that they want. And so they know what the outcome is that they, that they would really like to have, but they don't know what they need in order to get what they want. And so that's why that interview phase of this cycle tends not to work very well for high ticket consulting. Because what they're going to say is like, here's what I think might work. And then you're kind of using your expertise to say, yes, I can do those types of things. Okay, let's, let's kind of lay that out. Well, then you kind of write it all up in a proposal. But the risk is really high because the client is basically relying on themselves to have, have, have accurately assessed what it is that they need in order to get these outcomes that they're looking for. And they don't really feel that much confidence in it. And that's why they feel scared. And because they feel scared, you're going to notice that you've got a lot of clients that are really nitpicky. They're really demanding. They want everything as cheap as possible because when you feel like there's high risk, you've got to have low cost in order to be able to move forward with it because you're thinking this might not work. And so then that's if you've ever had a client that you just feel like is just super demanding and really cheap, it's most likely because they're really scared they're not going to get the outcome they need but yet they need the outcome really bad, right? So it's, it's, one of the, it's, it's a combination of all of that stuff. And it's exacerbated by this old school legacy solution last marketing structure. So, you know, high risk and low confidence is the second reason. And then the last reason, or, or not even the last, but just the third one I'm going to talk about right now for why this old structure doesn't work is the client's going to be thinking they can get the same thing for less if you charge a lot more. Now, you might be thinking, well, I've got all this experience. I've you know, been building websites for five years or 10 years or forever, you know, those types of things. Uh, I'm really good at this stuff. And therefore, I can charge more than people who are just getting started and they don't know what they're doing and whatever. And it's true. You can charge more, but you can't charge as much more as you really need. Like, you know, OK, let's say the average website's going for $1,500. You can probably charge 2000 maybe even 3000 but you can't usually charge like ten or fifteen thousand because that's just way out of the park, right? And so, how do you get into a situation where you can't? Because those are the rate you're going to need to be charging like you know five figure rates in order to be able to have the income that you want. Like it's very very difficult to get to like ten thousand dollars a month selling twenty five hundred dollar websites, and twenty five hundred bucks is kind of on the high end of what people think websites cost today. Because if they've got twenty five hundred bucks, they can go and get a website pretty much anywhere they want, you know, probably a couple of them at that price. So what that means is, how do you break out of that price and get up into like the 10, like, so if you want to make 10 grand a month and you're selling $2,500 websites, you're going to have to do one a week, right? That'd be four in a month to get $10,000 a month coming in. That's a lot of leads, right? It's a lot of work too. So wouldn't it be better if you could build up a portfolio of like six or seven clients and each client was paying you like 15 grand or more per year. And then that was your portfolio that equates to a six figure business that you can run out of your house on your own as a web designer. And if you want to scale it up to an agency, you can do that too. But at that point, you're still landing high ticket clients and you've got that recurring revenue coming in because they continue to keep you on board so that you can actually do the marketing for them. Because if you're building websites, you're in marketing. You're not in software development. You're in marketing. So take it all the way, right? Now understand that you're in marketing and do the marketing, right? And that means that you're going to have to be there on an ongoing basis, which means they need to hire you on retainer to make sure that you're leveraging all the stuff that you built for them. So that means when you go out there and you tell people that the price is going to be ten or $15,000 or even more than that, and they're thinking it should be $1,500, they're going to say, man, I can get the same thing for less. Maybe if you had said 2000 or 3000 that would have been okay. But 15 is totally, I mean, we weren't expecting that at all. We've got to go and get all of this from some, some cheaper source. And then, you know, doesn't this happen all the time? Haven't you had situations where you tell the client a price and they say, oh, you know what? That's, that's a little bit more than we were thinking. That's too expensive. Then they go with some cheaper source and then they come back to you and be like, oh man, I wish we had gone with you in the first place. You know, this is a complete disaster. Can you fix it? 
right? I mean, that happens all the time. So wouldn't it be better if you had a strategy so you could avoid that scenario? So because like when they come back to you, they're in a worse financial situation than they were in the first time, right? Because like whatever they were going to spend with you, now it's, you know, it's even worse because they just dropped, I don't know, 1500 bucks or whatever on the, on the cheaper guy. So now they're worse than before. So wouldn't it be better if you could save them the money, save them the time, save them the frustration, and they could just work with you right off the bat? And so that's why we need to change the overall structure to your meeting. Because if the experience of working with you in this beginning phase, like when you're trying to win the client, is the same as the experience of working with somebody else, they're going to feel like they can get the same kind of thing. Maybe they even kind of intellectually understand that the people that they're going with don't have quite the same experience that you do, but it's the same flow. It's, it's find the lead, you know, do the discovery session, come up with a solution. And so if you're doing that exact same pattern and you're like five times or 10 times more expensive than other people, they're going to say, well, let me go answer the same question. Because most people ask with all the same questions, like, how many pages do you need? What's your target audience? You know, what kind of, what kind of results are you looking for? You're like, you know, all of the same kinds of, who are your competitors? What colors do you like? It's like, the discovery session questions are almost the same for everybody. I mean, there's a little variation, but generally speaking, everybody asks the same stuff. And so what if your clients find that, what if I just go answer these questions where somebody is going to charge like one tenth of what you're charging and then I'll get all the same stuff for less and they'll just do it. So what we need to do is we need to change the structure. We need to radically change the structure so that you can win these clients without having to lose out to people that are doing everything cheaper. And keep in mind that the big reason we have to change this pattern is because this is the only pattern they have access to yet. They haven't hired you yet. And so that means they don't know that you can do better work and that the results are, are, are going to be more forthcoming with you than they will be with the cheaper guys because they haven't gotten that far in the relationship with anybody yet. So you haven't had a chance to prove your value because they haven't hired you yet. So you need to get them to hire you over the less expensive alternatives. And that's why you have to change the marketing pattern. So that's the big idea behind the solutions first marketing structure. And we're gonna dive deep into the details over the coming weeks on how to do it and what it is and how to implement it and all the, all the various benefits of all of this. But if you feel like this is already making some sense and that you feel kind of stuck in this old legacy approach to trying to win web design clients by trying to treat them like software projects rather than the marketing projects that they really are, then let's talk about this. So head on over to doublestack.net slash call jump on my calendar and let's have a free like 45 minute talk together where we can talk about how to implement a new marketing strategy for your business to win these clients so we can get you one of these trophies, right? So let's get one of these things mailed to you so that you can be in the double stack five figure family. But even if you don't want to work with me on it, that's fine too. Still jump over to doublestack.net slash call. The call is totally free and we'll put together a strategy for you and you can just implement the strategy on your own if you want to. We don't have to do it together. But by all means, don't do the solution last marketing pattern anymore because that's just going to burn you out. You're going to be finding that you have to keep lowering your pricing. And even if you try to raise your price, you can't raise it enough to hit the income goals that you're really looking for. And then clients feel that everything's really risky and they're feeling nervous. They're being super demanding. They're trying to get everything cheap and you're feeling burnt out. So to break out of all of that, head on over to doublestack.net slash call. Find a time for us to talk. And let's spend 45 minutes on the phone together and I'll lay out a pattern for you based on the kind of clients that you're looking for, the kind of work that you do, the kind of price points you want to hit. And then you'll have a roadmap for exactly where you want to go. And if you want to work together on implementing that roadmap, we can talk about that too. See if it's going to be a good fit for both of us. And if so, awesome. But if not, just take the roadmap and do it on your own. And that will at least break you out of the pattern of this whole solution last marketing thing where it's really frustrating and all the clients are are nitpicky and, and broke and stressful and all the other things. So head over to doublestack.net slash call and I look forward to seeing you there.